Welcome one and all. In today's video, we have Val Venus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. He's the ex-wrestler, now anarchist. I have three videos with him. The first video is from Fraud Order Trolls live stream. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that. He is going to talk about how he can prove to us that he does not need to obey any traffic laws and that the courts let him off every time. The next two are him in the courts. Let's see how that goes. So, so let me ask you a question. Right. Do you believe that the written instrument called traffic laws, which was just written by other human beings, do you believe I'm obligated to obey that written instrument? Yes. Okay. Now imagine you're on the stand and I hit you with what facts can you present to this court right now that would prove to the judge, to me, and to every other rational human being that that obligation actually exists between me and the written instrument called traffic laws that you claim I'm obligated to obey? So, what would you present the court? Yeah, well, you asked the police officer the exact same question. And what he said, he said that when you signed uh, and you applied to get your driver's license, you signed sort of a contract that says you have to follow the rules of the road and and that would be the proof so let me explain something here okay hold on i just lost you okay, okay. All, right, all right so okay so just repeat the question for me again no no wait well i was saying like what the police officer said said oh, that yeah. He, yeah if he was pulled up on the stand he would say well when you signed up to get your driver's license and to use the roads you sign as a contract that says that you have to adhere to the the law of the road which is speeding drunk driving and all that shit yeah i used to say that same thing all the time too you haven't watched my channel for very long have you no i haven't it's just been a few well, days well, here's, here's something you should know i intentionally get traffic tickets and i intentionally go to court i post all the recordings on my youtube channel Really? You can listen to prosecutors and police officers using that exact same presentation of facts trying to prove an obligation in here. I'll give you an example. Canal County. I did an intentional rolling stop right in front of a cop and sure enough he gave me a ticket. We went to Pinal County Superior Court or I'm sorry, a justice court. And uh I kept pressing him to state on the record and I'm obligated to obey the written instrument called traffic law or not. And for the first several times, he wouldn't answer the question. He just kept regurgitating. I pulled you over that night because you didn't bring your car to a full and complete stop. That wasn't my question. My question was, am I obligated to obey a written instrument called traffic law? So the prosecutor finally says, I'll answer that question. When you sign your driver's license, and he's looking at me right in the eye, too. When you sign your driver's license, you agree to abide by all traffic rules and obey Arizona police officers. So I just ask, you know, you got to remember, whatever that human being presents as facts that would prove an obligation exists, it's got to hold up on your scrutiny. And as you will hear for yourself with your own ears, it took me less than 30 seconds to destroy that narrative. So my question right was, back was, my question right was. back, my question right back to him was, well, let me ask you a question. If I didn't have my driver's license, I didn't sign anything, could I go ahead and do rolling stops wherever I want? He said right away, you would get stopped. So the reality is, the driver's license is not the facts you rely on. That will prove an obligation exists for me to obey that written instrument called traffic law. And he stumbled. You, you'll hear him. He's like, oh, yeah, it was never the facts, sir. The facts were you didn't bring your car to a full and complete stop. I've, I am undefeated in the courts. I, who else do you know? Well, that was fun. If you have never seen Fraud or Troll, go check it out. It's good stuff over there. Now on to the next one. The audio is terrible. I raised the volume the best I could. It sounds like he has his phone in his pocket. I'm assuming it's covertly, because he's complained many times that he's not allowed to film or use audio in the courtrooms. And that is the picture he put up. Sorry. 
So give a good listen, and we'll meet back here at the end. Sean Morley, it's S-E-A-N. Morley is M-O-R-L-E-Y, March 6, 71. I'm really not interested in any of those options, ma'am. Okay. Um, just got a couple of questions first. I'll answer them if I can, but I okay. can't dismiss any of these. So you can ask your questions. Okay, so the claim you have before you, uh -huh. that is a claim from the state, correct? That's correct. Okay, and there's two items on there? That's correct. Failure to obey traffic device? Yes. Failure to carry vehicle registration card? That's correct. Is the foundation of the state's claim that I'm obligated to obey a written instrument called traffic law? Yes. And is that the court's position as well? Yes. Okay, well, I'd like to motion to vacate the entire case right. as I can't get a fair trial here. I, 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 can't, I can't do it. What I can tell you did you, did you not just admit to me that it's the state's claim against me that I'm obligated to obey a written instrument? Well, the state's Yes or no, ma'am? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's your position as well? How am I going to get a fair trial? Well, the state's going to have to prove the charges against you by the evidence. The evidence going to have to be presented. When they submitted this claim into this court, did they submit supporting facts that would prove the foundation of their claim that I'm obligated to obey a written instrument called traffic law? Or did they just submit a claim? They just submitted it. If I made a claim against you without any supporting facts, would you wait until trial to dismiss it or would you dismiss it right away? Okay, I'll wait till there's a trial to dismiss, but you're lying through your teeth. Okay. You would fine. dismiss it right away and you know it. No, I wouldn't, but uh, we can disagree on that Okay, now, so, but you're going to, you, you uh, on, this is on the record, is there yeah. somebody, is there somebody recording this? Okay, so on the record, you're telling me that you're going to ignore the fact that the state has submitted a claim against me without any supporting facts, and that doesn't matter, you're gonna push it to trial and get me to come off of work again, lose more money again, with no supporting facts, I'm obligated to obey a written instrument. Yes. On the record, that's what you're gonna do. That's on the record. Okay, that's all I need, thank okay. you. We'll get to that date and time and so you're, so you're putting in a not guilty plea on my behalf then, correct? Uh, it's actually not, it's not a not guilty plea because it's not a criminal offense. Okay. Um, I'm just um, setting it for um, civil traffic. So can you explain the difference between not having a guilty plea and having to come back to trial? Well, let me let me start with so with regard to civil offenses, it's not it's not a guilty plea. So either a clear responsible, a finding of a responsible. You're saying that you're not responsible for this and you may not be, so you're gonna have a civil hearing. If the state is able to prove by preponderance of evidence that you are responsible, you'd be found responsible. If the state is not able to prove it, then you'd be found not responsible. Okay, responsible for what exactly? Responsible for failing to be a tax control device and failing to carry a vehicle registration card. Okay, and what about the state's responsibility to prove with facts that I'm obligated to obey a written instrument called traffic laws in the first place? Okay. That is the foundation of their claim, is it not? Okay, do they have facts proving I'm obligated to obey that written instrument? Not in front of me. Um, Not in front of you, and yet you're, you're going to ignore that, that you don't have those facts in front of you. Mr. Molly, yes, I am. Okay? You're going to ignore that on the record. Is somebody typing that down? No one's typing it, but it is on the record. And I so on the record, it. there's no facts proving a claim against me, but you as the judge are going to just completely ignore that there's no facts proving that claim to be true as of yet, and yet you're going to push me to another hearing. Yes. It's going to cost me more money okay. to take off of work. Okay. And you think that's moral or ethical? Don't you think it's responsible for the state, if they're going to make a claim trying to rip me off, that they should at least provide facts proving the foundation of their claim? Yes or no? Or can any criminal just make a claim and willy-nilly, you'll just approve it? Unbelievable. Yeah, can you explain to me the difference between what you're doing right now and what is, in essence, without any facts, 
is a state-sanctioned extortion racket. Are all of you above extortion laws? Are you on the same team as the state or are you a judge? Because you just admitted to me, it's your position, I'm obligated to obey a written instrument called traffic law. Correct? That's correct. So you're taking the same position as the state that's making that claim in the first place. If that's how you see it, sir, that's now, I'm not right. asking if I see it. I'm asking you, are you taking that same position as the state? I am sworn to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Arizona. I'm doing my job, Mr. Moore. So you're taking the same position. Mr. Moore, we're not Can you recuse yourself? Okay, enough. We're not going to continue to debate this. Enough. Just get you a hearing notice and then at, at, a, at a hearing, the state's going to have to prove the charges. Prove which charges? Be specific. There's two charges that you have on the ticket that we've mentioned previously. Oh, so there is no, I'm going to go to hearing. I'm not going to have the opportunity for the state to press the state to prove their claim. I'm obligated to obey a written instrument. At a hearing. You didn't tell me, you told me they're going to, they're going to, they're going to try and prove these two claims That's right here. Correct. These are the secondary claims. Yes or no? Those are the claims, those are the charges that we get. First claim or secondary? It's the first claim against you. So the first claim is not that I'm obligated to obey a written instrument, correct? Mm -hmm. no, we're not going to debate this in this. I'm not debating, I'm asking you questions, and I expect the answers. And you I are a judge, you, correct? And I told you the charges against you, and that's what the state has to prove. Based on the foundation that I'm obligated to obey a written instrument, yes or no? We are done with this. We're done. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. State sanctioned extortion rack. Okay, I don't think that was the case that he was talking about with frauded or troll. I looked for that one and I couldn't find it. But he has a lot of awful, awful videos to search through. But I did not hear a win from that. So if I find the other video, I will be putting it up. The next one is him calling the courts to find out what happened. Sorry, spoilers, it does not turn out the way we want it to. It's a simple yes or no. I don't need a book. I need yes or no. Is it the state's position Sir, that I am obligated? Hey, I'm not allowed to argue my case. I'm not allowed to argue my case. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't even get a this is a state sanctioned extortion racket. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So what happens now? That's unbelievable. You guys are sworn to uphold the Constitution, right? I allowed, I'm supposed to be allowed to go in there and argue my case. Not they were the railroading me right in front of you all, and you all just walked me out of here. Unbelievable. Yes. So what, what happens you'll have this to, ticket? You'll have to call here. And a representative will be with you shortly. Justice Court. Hi, it's uh, Sean Morley calling there. Um, I was uh, escorted out of the courtroom there yesterday and they asked me to call back for an update of what's happening next. So I just wanted to get an update. Yes, um, let me just pull it up here. Um, so it looks like, um, looks like after the hearing they noticed that, or during the hearing they noticed that the um, traffic stop was out of our jurisdiction. So the case was dismissed. So, as usual, he gets off on a technicality, and he's going to call it a win. I'm sure he'll spin a web of lies on how they just called it out of jurisdiction because he proved to be right that he doesn't have to follow the laws or some dumb shit like that. So keep a lookout for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next one.